Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Hooked, a uh, very simple and yet very fun mod by The Coded Warrior. So this mod is based all around, well, mobility, uh, for lack of a better term, but through the use of these grappling hooks of all different sizes uh, and abilities, actually. They, they vary quite a bit with how they can act. But you can start off early game with these as well, so that you can have something, you know, early. And it's simple just how it's made, like a stone pickaxe, some sticks, and rope, which is added by Hooked. The rope, of course, is made by plant fibers, which then are made with some kind of sword. It can even be a wooden sword if you want, and some kind of sapling will get you plant fiber. So you need at least six plant fibers to make yourself two rope, so you can make yourself a wooden hook. Uh, and it actually has a stone pickaxe on there, but it's basically just called that for the, uh, the level that it is. Now, it also works with baubles. And you can put it in any baubles slot that you want, and it will work. It does not have a durability. It does not work in hand or anything like that, so you have to have it actually on your, your uh, uh, bauble slot there. And it works with a key binding. In this case, I am using the letter C, and I can use it to just throw out this little hook. And yes, it works on the ground. It can work on nearby items. It being a wooden hook, it's going to be very limited with how far it can go. But you can actually climb out and around things to a point. You can wobble a little bit with this, so if you're stuck underneath something, you might be able to, you know, maneuver a little better. But you can use it to just kind of get around a little bit easier in places. If you want, you can you know, do what I'm doing here in climbing, and then if you press space to jump, you'll actually do a little bit of a hop, and you'll disconnect from any and all hooks that you have out. Now, you'll have a maximum of two out at a time. So if you see here, I have a hook here, and if I'm hooking over there, actually here, I'll, I'll keep it on the screen at the same time. The first hook stays in place while I hook to another one. So if I'm actually in the middle of something, like uh, I'm, I'm currently dangling above the ground, I can hook over here. I don't fall first. It hooks first, and then it releases after I get a, a good connection from one spot to the next. And I'm just pressing C over and over again. And it, it's a slow one because, as before, I said this is a wooden hook. This is not one of the more advanced ones. Now you can actually, uh, if, if you have multiple hooks, you have multiple keybinds at that point that you can use. If you just want to disconnect one, you just shift and C or shift and your keybind, and that should work just fine. Now if I remove this, I can put in, let's say, an iron hook in this case, which is made with iron chains, which are made from iron chain links, which are made from a bunch of iron. So yes, Six iron will get you all the chain links that you need for, for your first set, uh, but you're going to need two of those, a bit of iron ingots, and an iron pickaxe to do so. And then you get a lot of extra abilities. And yes, just by hovering over this, it, it pretty much tells you how it works. Allows floating mid-air by firing two hooks at opposing points, and then you hold shift and it tells you the different key bindings that it's set to by default. Uh, so this one is a little bit better. It goes faster and further. And it just looks really cool in the process. So you, you kind of got like a Dr. Octopus look going on here. So now if you look, I currently have uh, like uh, this chain coming out from both sides. It's sort of like a, a terraria feel. I, I like this quite a lot. So if you want to, you know, mix in a bit of, of terraria with your uh, uh, hooks, it works very intuitively. Now, if for some reason it's like, all right, I just want to go over this way. Would you let go? Then you just press shift, aiming at the, the hook that you want to let go, and then press the hook button. And you'll let go of that one and go over to the other that you are trying to get to. And you can actually do this uh, if you, let, let's say I get um, some shears here. I'll grab a pair of shears. Uh, it'll allow you, if you so desire, to actually, while in midair, still harvest things and mine things normally as if you, uh, you know, weren't... Uh, as if you were not flying, so you're basically considered standing on something. So it's, it's kind of useful in that aspect. Also, it will keep you from do, having any kind of fall damage. So in this case, I don't take any fall damage from that because I was already hooked on it. Now, pressing towards this, all it does is make you kind of wah, 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 back and forth, wiggle a little bit. I press jump, I do a little hop, and I will take damage as usual. So let's move on to the next one after the iron hook, and that is the diamond hook, which is made from an iron hook. Very simple. It was just Put some diamonds on it, right? Well, this one here, put that on. It's going to have a little bit different of an ability. Look here, plenty of hooks 
plenty of speed. So it's going to have, well, um, a, a bit more of a Dr. Octopus style about it. Uh, for example, <laughs> I can shoot out up to four hooks and centralize my, my player this way and just be absolutely nuts with it. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you know, you can always just jump anytime that you want to disconnect your hooks. So you just press here and then you press the next one and so on. And you can always shift disconnect it. It's really good for just kind of centrally locating a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, like if you want to hover between objects or something, it, it's pretty cool. But it's more a tool in my mind to get to one of these next two, which actually act very differently from the others. And that is the red hook which create a flight within the volume defined by the hooks. That can be a little confusing, but it's actually very accurate. And I will explain and show you how that works. And it has the same things in there. Press C to fire the hook, double jump to retract all hooks. Uh, but in this case, it, uh, if you notice there, it did say double jump to retract all hooks. So if I press C, I launch out a little red hook, and then I can press here and I can launch out a second one and a third one and a fourth one. But here's the thing. Now when I use my arrow keys, I actually can fly around in a plane, basically where all these are connected, uh, just sort of like there's a flat surface, or maybe even a, a curved surface, between all of these together that I can actually manipulate and walk around on. So therefore I can mine very easily on this entire surface, and I can just kind of stay here in the center. And then of course, pressing jump does nothing. That allows you to go up and down a little bit, just the tiniest bit. Uh, but if you double jump, that's when everything gets retracted and you fall back. And same as before, if you have multiples going on out here, you can actually press shift and C and then you can, uh, you know, let go of things. But it allows you to basically uh, move along the path of the uh, those slowly as you would like to. So if you want to fine tune where you're at. Now, the one that I personally prefer, my favorite, is going to be the ender hook, uh, of course, which uh, let's put it in the slot. Why not? Uh, this one is super duper fast. It's very intuitive, uh, but you only get one hook. Well, I guess one and a half, the half being that you always end up staying there. So you can see I'm very fast. It leaves a little trail where you were, and you can just kind of zoom around really quick with this. There, there's no real sound effects to it, which I'm fine with actually, because with how often you're going to use this, if it had a lot of sound to it, it would be a bit ridiculous. But yeah, you can use it to negate fall damage uh, just because it, it will shoot out before you hit the ground. You just jump once and you'll disconnect the, uh, the, the hook itself. And it's just really, really neat. I think this is a great and fun mod. Um, obviously the, uh, the, recipe on on the red hook here i forgot to say that is a little bit of redstone and some uh comparator whereas the ender hook is going to be under pearls and eye of ender and stuff all both of which are going to be around a diamond hook so they're individual upgrades uh and i just like it a lot it's it's a lot of fun yes it can make you go super fast even on uh flat ground if you wanted to it does not uh, give you uh, any kind of creative flight. Uh, it does not work on animals. I mean, I, I can launch through this cow if I want or, or mobs or anything like that. It's it's pretty much just individual. Works really nicely. I like it a lot. Uh, it, it's not going to go tremendous far. It will go pretty good distance though with uh, this one. There we go. Yeah, the, the end hook is just the bee's knees in my mind. Uh, but there you go, folks. Uh, just a really fun, neat mod that I think should and probably in my mind will be added to a lot of different mod packs in the future. And if you so desire, be sure to let the Coded Warrior one know how much you enjoy his mod. And if you are enjoying this video and others like it, please be sure to give a sub. Don't forget to comment below if you would like to. And spread the mischief to others if you think that, you, that uh, others will enjoy this kind of content too. Until next time, folks. I'll see ya. Bye.